to actually define what a relation is or what a function is the notion of cartesian products is very useful cartesian products and we discussed about cartesian products very briefly in our operations on sets videos at maths decoded but we review it here again and say that i have a set i i for ice creams and i have three ice creams with me vanilla um, butterscotch and chocolate and just using their initials and say i have another set so this is my set of ice creams i have a set of uh, toppings uh, say uh, choco chip uh, cherries and maybe uh, caramel cr again i'm using shorthands for those i am interested in what i cross t is i is a set t is another set so i want the meaning of i cross t so well we defined i cross t as the set of all ordered pairs of x comma y say such that x belongs to my first set first set is i and y belongs to my second set t well this is all good this is the set builder form of defining the set the set descriptive form but now we know the sets i and t explicitly so maybe we can write down what i cross t is i cross t and this cross is read as the cartesian product so i cross t is the set of all ordered pairs where the first element is taken from i and the second element is taken from t and again a brief review of ordered pairs an ordered pair is just a pair of two numbers written this way something comma something they may be a pair of numbers real numbers variables etc and they are ordered because a comma b is not equal to b comma a if we change the order we actually change the pair itself so uh, all such ordered pairs which obey this property are uh, so maybe i should start from the first element in i so the first element is v vanilla vanilla with my choco chip topping is my first element in i cross t so this is one element another element would be v comma this is cherry ch for cherry then i'll have v comma uh, i'm i'm using the colors very carefully here v comma cr for caramel and then all these are elements in i cross so this that was the first element this is the second element this is the third element and we'll have three more elements with b as the first element of the pair and three more elements as c as the first element so c means chocolate so the last element the way i am ordering this the last element would be uh, c comma cr if i'm not wrong yes so this is chocolate ice cream with uh, caramel topping which is not not a very good choice so this is my i cross t set so they have how many elements in total uh, we took this is actually what i did was i multiplied i and t together i took the first element in i i wrote it down with all these three elements then with the second element i used these three elements again with the third element i used these three elements again so the number of elements would be actually so number of elements in i cross t would be actually number of elements in i times the number of elements in t and i hope this was an intuitive explanation for why this happens so this is just the product or product of two numbers symbol and this is the cartesian product i am i am multiplying two sets together here i am multiplying two numbers let's get more used to the notion of cartesian product we'll look at one more example say that my set a is the singleton zero and my set b is something different my set b is the set of all one by n's such that n is a natural number 
so again all these if if these mathematical languages are very alarming to you and you are looking at this for the first time then i'd suggest you watch mathematical reasonings chapter in at math decoded because i always suggest my students to go through reasonings first before coming to sets or relations or functions or whatever uh, that, that that's where you'll learn all the mathematical languages used so all the set of 1 by n's where n is natural how will this set actually look like so set b in my uh, roster form would look something like this so maybe uh, maybe this yellow color would be fine so 1 by n so 1 by 1 for natural number i am starting with all the natural numbers so the first one is 1 then I'll have 2, so that's a 1 half. Then 1 by 3 for the next natural number, 1 by 4, 1 by 5, a sixth, and so on. And immediately we say that this is an infinite set. But the definition of Cartesian product will still hold. So A cross B will still be defined as the set of all x comma y's such that x belongs to A and, uh, and y belongs to B. And this B is the same B, so I should write this in yellow. So how will the Cartesian product actually look like? So let me list it in a new page. So A cross B would look something like this. The element A, the, the first element from A and the only element from A, 0, comma, the first element from B, that is 1. Then I'll have 0, comma, half. Then I'll have 0, comma, a third. And you get the idea. So this goes on. And I'll have all 0, comma, 1 by k, say. And it will also go on forever. So this is just some random element in between would look like this, 0, comma, 1 over k. And we immediately see that A cross B is an infinite set. It is also in in logic with this statement because one set actually turns out to be infinite. And, and <clears throat> this is also a good exercise for you uh, to see what elements belong to A cross B and what do not. So given any element, since A cross B is well defined, or if a cross b is well defined i should be able to prove given any element whether it belongs to a cross b or not so say uh, 0 comma 1 over 95 does it belong to a cross b it does because 1 over 95 is of the form 1 by n so it does belong to a cross b <coughs> sorry and what if I give you what does not belong to A cross B, 0, 0, does it belong to A cross B? So you should think about this and answer. And if it did belong to A cross B, so if, if this had belonged, if this was right, then my 0, 0 should be of the form 0, 1 over n. And 1 over n should have been equal to 0 then. Because what if two ordered pairs are equal? If a comma b is equal to c comma d, this means a is equal to c and b is equal to d. So here it means the second elements are equal. So 0 is equal to 1 by n. And this is true for some natural number n. <coughs> so this is the symbol for there exists. And this also all these symbols have been discussed in our uh, lessons in at at math decoded in our reasonings playlist so well uh, what do we have now we have 1 by n for some natural number n such that 1 by n is 0 is it possible so let us see we can what we can do is we can multiply both the sides by n because n is still positive and and this n cancels and we reached at what we are trying to reach we try we were actually trying to reach a contradiction one is equal to zero so this is a contradiction and this shows that zero comma zero can never belong to a cross b so this is not true all this is not true and this is a false statement so given any element we can explicitly tell you 
whether it belongs to a cross b or not it shows that a cross b is actually a well defined set at least in this case but we know that a cross b is a well defined set let us finish things up with uh, one more example let me go to a new page for this example 3 say that my set a is r and my set b is also equal to r so i'll actually be talking about r cross r so what will r, r cross r look like well let us just write the definition of the cross product so it will be all the x comma y's such that x belongs to r and y belongs to r so that is to say x comma y is r real numbers so what does this actually represent so one might be a bit confused because both are infinite sets how do we write down the elements how do we list the elements so it's not always necessary to list the elements in a linear fashion so even if we cannot list the elements this will still be a set my set r is a set set uh, r a and b are sets and as soon as i draw this people might be people might be able to see where I'm going with this. So say this is my X axis and Y axis. I have named it knowingly X and Y because I'm using X and Y there. And this actually represents my real line. This actually, actually represents this set R. And this Y axis represent this set R. So this coordinate plane actually represents R cross R. And even this coordinate plane is called the Cartesian coordinate or Cartesian plane or Cartesian coordinate plane. So each and every point in this plane would represent some element of R cross R. So say this point is uh, minus root 2 comma 2 maybe. So this minus root 2 comma 2 would belong to R cross R because both are real numbers and they are ordered pairs so they, they belong to r cross r so every element every point in this coordinate plane would be an element in r cross r so the all this goes to say that the cross products or the cartesian products are they can be as arbitrary as you want so i hope this helps thank you